was the youngest manager in the game. I, I think 39, 38, 39. And uh, I had a pretty good team with Kim and Eddie and uh, Steve Finley. We just got the trade from Houston. So we were pretty competitive. And, you know, back then, you, you didn't get those three or four year deals like they get now. Uh -huh. you, you get a one year deal with an option, the club option. So there's a lot of pressure on you. And, uh, and so that was a lot of pressure. I felt, and I think all the young managers back then felt, it's, it was a little different, but uh, ownership uh, was good to me. What, was it a, uh, how, how quickly did you realize that managing at the big league level was a different pressure level, or there was a different expectation? Was it right away, oh my gosh, this year is a lot bigger? Yeah, and you always draw on the experiences that you had in minor leagues, but it's totally different. In the minor leagues, it's more about development. You know, you may have a number one pick. You could be over 40, but you got to keep throwing them out there. We're up here. It's about winning. It's a big business. It's about winning and doing all you can to win games and get to the postseason. So you win. Uh, I didn't say at all costs, but you, you get to do what you think is best for the club. And, and even with that said, occasionally you have a player to be patient with. But it, it's a different game up here. And did the players treat you well right away? I mean, you were the, not quite the same age, probably, as most of them, but pretty close to it. Yeah, and a lot of them I knew, because I was in San Diego where I played five years. So Tony Gwynn, for example, I played with a coach. Uh, before I managed, I coached third base uh, in 93, 94. And then 95 when I, is when I took over. And, and so I had a couple players that I played with. And I look back at Tony Gwynn, what he did for me. Uh, you know, he helped, I guess, instill the players that I had an idea what I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Not that I did, but he said, hey, I played with this guy. So he was a leader in the club. So it, it was so important uh, to me what what he did and helped me out. His locker was right beside my office. He kept, you know, the, the tempo, the mood, the pulse of the club for me, but also, you know, any little things, you know, because during the season, you have a lot of guys and you're not their favorite person. And so, you know, <laughs> Tony would help me, you know, little things for me, and I'm forever grateful for all the things he did for me. And just, just a great guy, he went way too young, and, but I'm forever thankful for him. That can't be the case.